All right, guys, this is the 10 11 2024 podcast. We're going to be the predictions of SmackDown tonight. So, you guys know, Bad Blood was last weekend. So, we're going to be figuring out what's going on as far as uh, some situations uh, regarding Bad Blood, like Kevin Owens uh, attacking Cody Rhodes, um, what's going on with The Rock. We've got matches. Uh, we got Bianca Belair, Jay Cargill defending their titles tonight. We've got LA Knight with the United States Championship on the line. And then we also got Roman Reigns returning tonight as well. Here what's going on from Bad Blood. Other than that, this is what we got going on tonight. Not a whole lot to talk about. More or less recapping Bad Blood from last weekend. So that's basically what's going to be going on tonight. Smackdown tonight. Uh, King, would you like to add anything in, my friend? Uh, Hubert, I know you want to speak, but just give me a minute because I have a... Uh, I have a surprise for everyone. Damn. Um, up, Huber? I'm, yeah. I'm a bit upset right now. <laughs> All right, go ahead. What is it? Uh, basically, this guy that I'm show with basically just fucking blocked me for no reason. Okay, this doesn't regard wrestling, Hubert. We need I know, to. We I'm need just to talk. Pissed, okay. I'm yeah, pissed I, off. Right I now. understand, but we could talk about that a little later, my dude. All right. If you want to DM me me at, talk uh, about it. Yeah, I'd definitely be down to talk if about you, that a little later, bud. If you want to DM me about it, I can multitask. But yeah, you guys are more than welcome to come on the podcast anytime you guys want to talk about wrestling, talk about the topics that we're talking about tonight. We do not have a problem with that, so just let us know in chat if any of you guys want to join or anything like that. You guys are more than welcome to, so just let us know. But yeah, all right, so King, you can go ahead and finish what you were saying, my dude. So... If any of you have seen my Twitter in the past few days, uh, or have been any on have been on any of my social medias, you know that I have talked about a face reveal, and I did actually face reveal on my Twitter. I sent a I sent a picture. Um, however, I guess not many people have access to Twitter, so I I figured, how about for today's episode, uh. I'll go full face cam for the entire episode. Okay, that's fine. This will only be for this will only be for this episode. All right. Let's see how it goes. And, You're good. And uh, yeah, I'll see how it goes. I'll see how comfortable I am with showing my face on. Because you didn't really YouTube. do that during your streams when you'd stream too, right? I did not. No, I have shown my face on YouTube before, but I I deleted that was probably them when after. you were. A lot younger, wasn't it? <laughs> it was like probably a a year and a half ago, maybe. Yeah, oh, I figured it was younger right. than that. All right, so well, I've only been doing YouTube for two years until I retired. All right, so I'm gonna turn on the face cam in three, two, one. I do not look my best right now. Don't make fun. Of me. <laughs> no, you're good, bud. It's all good, bro, bro. Hello. What is you guys up, my can friend? Hear me, right? Yeah, we can hear you, my man. Perfect. Let me put something on. Hold on. No, you're good, bud. King Awesome Face Reveal. That's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, he, he showed his cam on uh, Twitter, as he was saying. It was the first time, obviously, that we've ever seen each other face to face, to be honest. But that's kind of cool. But uh, heck yeah. Um, So we've got smackdown tonight i'm super excited because it's going to be a lot of recap from bad blood i'm also excited for um to hear what's going on with cody rhodes and kevin owens of course which we'll get more into like the end of bad blood and what's going on with bad blood towards the end um so do you want to go ahead and start off with the first match so we've got bianca belair jay cargill Defending their titles. I'm not exactly sure who Jakara Jackson and Lash Legend is. I'm pretty sure they're from NXT, right? I I don't really keep up on, a lot on the NXT stuff. I mean, I did see the Jey Uso stuff, the Randy Orton stuff, um, the CM Punk stuff. I keep up with that type of stuff in NXT. Um, but I do watch NXT here and there. So I do not know what exactly caused this match to be on SmackDown. But um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Really Obviously, I'm pretty straight. sure Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill will probably um, successfully uh, defend the titles tonight. 
I don't think Jakar Jackson and Lash Legend are going to take the victory tonight. I am pretty sure Bianca Belair and Jay Cargo will still be champs after tonight. Uh, but it's cool because if it was something that they set up to give them a chance at titles, that would be super cool. Give them a chance to, you know, come on to the big show and uh, get a chance to see what they do in front of a bigger crowd, I guess. Um, even though NXT is more... Uh, they're not in the, the the performance center anymore, so they're they're pushing NXT around uh, the country now. So you can go to NXT in a bigger show, and it might even come close to you now. So that's kind of cool that they're they're traveling around with NXT now. They only did that with the pay per views, from what I know. Um, but yeah, what are your thoughts on this, King? I have no idea who these two women are. <laughs> I don't either. Uh, I haven't I haven't kept up on like, any of that. Along with I feel like along with everyone else, including H Black, who's here right now, uh, no one knows who these people are. Yeah, um, I get what that's you mean. because they're from NXT. NXT is where wrestlers, um, where like more smaller wrestlers, they test out their chances uh, on a bigger audience. It's kind of like I'd call it like an underground version of WWE. Yeah. Uh, kind of starting point for most wrestlers in their career right and some wrestlers some wrestlers from nxt become big names like becky lynch and seth rollins they were both the first ever uh nxt champions yep who knows i mean so if if these two do win the championships tonight then yeah you're right this will this will be big for the the two because it gives them opportunities to go to bigger stages yeah you know? and that would that would definitely bring a lot more to the table especially for them and not only you know nxt as well because they would be they'd have to defend on smackdown and stuff in bigger events at that point you know yeah which we've seen like like you said for for instance becky and and, and seth won titles i'm pretty sure right I know Becky's won yeah, both the of... NXT championship. That was last year or the year before that when she did that. She held it for a little bit before what? I think it was Tiffany that took her out, right? Maybe. I can't remember. I Maybe she took it from Tiffany. I can't remember. But it was something regarding that. Okay, so... In this article, it says in, they were in a confrontation on NXT backstage, so that's what caused this match to be on SmackDown. So it wasn't like, hey, we're going to help you out by giving you a shot. It was something that feuded up on NXT, so that's something that we're going to have to uh, keep in mind there. Um, I, I, I think I saw a Twitter post on this. I think they did clash backstage. Over what? I don't know. Yeah, I know they were, they were on NXT, but I didn't see the part where they got into a feud with them. That was the part that I didn't see. Hollow joined and said docs. Like, I haven't... Like, this is the first time I've shown my face. <laughs> <laughs> Hollow. <laughs> So yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I think Bianca and Jade will probably secure the title defense tonight. Um, but it's still going to be cool to see some of these younger NXT people get pushed onto you know bigger shows because who knows they they might get drafted because draft will be coming up soon before we know it you know next few months. So cause they normally do that what in like April somewhere in there like April May. I don't know. They normally do it towards the, the beginning of the year. But uh, it'll be interesting to see because there's a lot of a lot of people that could be drafted, and I'm hoping Trick Williams gets drafted up to like SmackDown or something. I think that would be cool. Who was the previous North American champion? Um, are you talking about NXT? Wasn't it the Oba guy? Yeah. He lost recently. Yeah. Yeah, people people think that he's going to be coming over to the main roster. Yeah, he probably will. He's actually really good. I've seen a couple of his I matches. Watch. I haven't watched a lot of it, but I've seen a promo as well. I think he seems to be pretty good. 
I could see him being on a We've bigger already, event or a bigger show we already later saw, on. Yeah, we already saw Ethan Page on Raw. So it'll be interesting to see who goes to Aldis. Yeah. So I think they are starting to kind of clash some of the NXT people or hint that some of these people are going to be moving up draft time or something, maybe. I don't know. They should do another NXT takeover. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. When was the last time they did an NXT takeover? H Black, when was the last Wasn't time it they TNA? did an NXT takeover? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know if they did T if TNA qualifies as a takeover or not. So, H Black, look up when was the last WWE TakeOver event. <laughs> so, yeah, Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair are going up against Jakara Jackson and Lash Legend. So, that's that's what's going on tonight. So, they're going to have their titles on the line, like I said. Um, I think Bianca and Jade will probably get the upper hand tonight. But it'll still be cool to see some of these uh, NXT stars come up to uh, do a match in a bigger event. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, H Black said the last WWE TakeOver event was in August of 2021. August of 2021? That was before I started to get back yeah. into the WWE and stuff. I I don't yeah, I don't think I watched back then either. No. That is a the, the that is a cool thing to think about. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it has been like over three years since the last takeover event, but maybe we could see another NX takeover. Yeah, that could be possibly, and that could be soon too. Like, it does feel like a lot of. Hmm. Go ahead. It oh, does feel just like saying a lot with of them NXT... adding all these TNA people in. Yeah, it does feel like a lot of NXT TNA wrestlers are going to the main roster, especially in like the women's division. Yep. And I think we'll see. I think Royal Rumble will see a lot of that too. Because they did that last year. Um, I can't remember her name off the top of my head. The big, the, the real strong girl on it, on TNA. They had her and they had Naomi return. Because Naomi was on uh, TNA before Royal Rumble last year. Or earlier this year, I should say. <laughs> so we might see some like Joe Hinge reaction or something like that. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Maybe. That, Joe that Hendry to be at Royal Rumble idea. would be nuts. Maybe. <laughs> that was a good thought. All Seeing right. Joe Hendry in roster. Yeah, that would be super sick. I think that would be cool. But I don't want to see him take him away from the NX or the TNA spotlight, you know, because that's kind of like what he's got going for him right now, you know. I don't watch very much TNA. I don't either, but it's actually really cheap to watch. I think it's like 99 cents and you get it. Or you can, it's on TV, I'm pretty sure as well. If you got the Access TV um, program, you can watch it on there. Huh. You want to cool. uh, move on to the next topic here? Talk about LA Knight and Carmelo Hayes going at it. Ah, <laughs> so. uh, right. Um... Yeah, so last week when AJ Styles injured his ankle or leg or knee, one of the three, um H Black looked that up. Which one did he which one did AJ Styles um injure uh last week on Friday Night SmackDown? I can't remember. Um But yeah, last week AJ Styles uh broke something and the match had to be called off, which yep. technically means Mello got a win, but technically it, it's not a win. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It was it was a a weird situation there. Uh, you can't really technically say that Carmelo won because it was they had to forfeit the match, you know, because of AJ Styles hurting his leg and stuff. 
but I think that um a mid ligament sprain. Yeah. Okay. A mid ligament sprain. It says. I don't okay. know what that is. Yeah, I didn't catch that part. H black. What is a mid ligament <laughs> sprain? <laughs> <laughs> I got no idea. All right. So yeah, um, uh, it was. Yeah, this is H. No, you're good. Last for the last weeks, I said, uh, for the last couple weeks, I said we need someone who can do the research for us because we don't know jack shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I. No, it's fine. I invited. I invited H Black, even though he doesn't really have a mic. He is going to do some re research for us when we're too dumb to do That's it ourselves. Perfectly fine with That's perfectly fine, my dude. Yeah. Hey, well, so, sometimes yeah. We, I don't know. we don't know everything, you know? If you guys got inputs and stuff you guys want to put in here, you guys are more than welcome to join the podcast and stuff. I don't know. This is a permanent thing. Um, But... Uh, H Black can join for the day, see how he feels, and then he can come back again on Monday and Fridays when he feels. Yeah, that's perfect. Like, he feels like. But yeah, so AJ Styles is not able to compete. Um, like I said, Carmelo and AJ duped it out last week. AJ ended up hurt, so Carmelo is now facing the United States Champion LA Knight. Yeah, for. The championship tonight so we're gonna see what's gonna happen i'm pretty sure that um carmelo will probably end up losing tonight we'll get la knight to retain there could possibly be some andrade stuff going on with this match possibly who knows because you know they fought the past six weeks so who knows if andrade is going to be upset about this and maybe uh screw with it or you know who knows to that line but I know the LA Knight is going to walk out as the United States champion. He is going to be defending it and keeping it tonight. So I don't think that uh, Carmelo's really got a chance in this match. I just I, I think he's going to get the beat down. He's going to get a BFT tonight, and that's going to be it. <laughs> I really hope they can move on from this Andrade and Carmelo Hayes beef because yeah, it's just been it's the an, same shit. Every Andrade time. needs to be like put on the roll or something. Or they need to move something around there yeah. because I feel like he, him and Tiffany would probably have better chances if they were on Raw, in my opinion. Yeah. Raw's just got a lot going we've for it right now. We said this the past couple episodes, but it it is real. It is true. Like Tiffany, and and Andrade. Like I think both of these superstars have more advantages and like they they have so much more potential on raw yeah i agree in my in my opinion i do agree with that yeah that's that's one thing that i was uh thinking myself as well i i, I kind of agree with you on that so i feel like some of these superstars yeah. they could be swapped around and it would be a better story for him, you know, because it just seems like repetitive, especially for SmackDown right now. Like SmackDown is super repetitive right now with stuff. It's it's yeah. it's getting crazy, like the amount of repetitive stuff we're getting with SmackDown. It's like it doesn't seem like we got anything new for it, you know. It just seems like the same old rerun stuff that we've seen the past month or two, you know, other than Roman being back, like you know. And the Cody Rhodes like and don't, KO stuff. I feel like they don't know where to go with the... um, I feel like they don't know where to go with the Carmelo Hayes and Andrade beef because it's just the same thing every time they clash for the last... For, since Money it's been the like Bank. six, six, maybe even two months. Because <laughs> I, like I said, I watched them fight at SmackDown. I watched They've them been fight. feuding in the bank, I think. And that was uh, yeah. 8 to 24 when I went to SmackDown. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's H definitely Black. getting interesting when to see why they're Money dragging the it on. Ace Black, when was Money in the Bank this year? Because I remember 
uh, the feud started at Money in the Bank. He's also chatting. Uh, he was wondering if you could uh, figure out what's going on or when, what day was Money in the Bank this year? Yeah. Dang, I couldn't even spit it out myself. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, uh, Carmelo, LA Knight, they're going at it tonight. Like I said, I think LA Knight's going to get the upper hand tonight. I think he's going to retain the belt. I don't think he's going to lose it right now. But I do think that if he loses it, it's probably going to be at a uh, main event or or like a pay-per-view or something, you know, to that regard. People are saying, people are saying that since Jay is currently holding the Intercontinental Championship, they should have Jimmy hold the U.S. Championship. And who knows? They might. But I, they might get into a feud. You never know, because LA Knight still has unfinished business with the Bloodline. So they've been feuding since July. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. On on Andrade and that's too uh, long. <laughs> that is too long yeah. of a feud, bro. That feels too long. It's October, and I know feuds last for a while. Like current, like KO's been feuding with the Bloodline for. Uh, like over half a decade at this point. Yeah. Right? Over half a decade. It's been a while, dude. H Black. Him, freaking um Sammy. I mean Sammy was a part of it there for a little while. Sam use, you know. But it wasn't like anything like set in stone, you know. I don't know. H Black, how to when did Kevin Owens Reigns have definitely become... been fighting with the bloodline longer? Hold on. H Black, when did Kevin Owens go up against Roman Reigns for for the first time for the Universal Championship? Was it the Universal Championship? I'll I don't know if it was Universal. I don't know, but I know they did fight for the belt. Uh, I think it was a Royal Rumble. The I think that was the first time they went against each other for championship. The first time Roman Reigns did Kevin Owens go up against who? Roman Reigns. I. Oh God. <laughs> it's always weird when someone doesn't know who Roman Reigns is. <laughs> it. It feels like John Cena. Like. <laughs> Everybody should know who. He like is how do you... At this point. Yeah. No, you're good. I understand. It's all good. But yeah. Um. So yeah. I think that's enough for that specific match. You want to go ahead and we can go on to 20, the Roman topic here in a second. 2015? That was for a championship? Ago. I don't think the bloodline formed in 2015. <laughs> I don't know if that's right, but I, I don't know. Well, speaking of... Roman Reigns defeated blood... Owens to retain the undisputed WWE <laughs> Universal Championship at Royal Rumble event. Reigns used a spear through the barricade and a third spear to end Owens' championship in twenty eight or January 28th of 2013. They also fought in 2015. Uh, Face-off at a SmackDown match for the Intercontinental Championship. So he isn't wrong. Huh. They also fought yeah, on December 30th of 2022. Reigns and Sammy face off against Owen and Cena. And then January 29th, Owens defeated Reigns in a notice qualification match at Royal Rumble event after Braun Strowman interfered. That I don't it doesn't have a date for that. It just says January 29th. <laughs> huh. Uh all right, the tr the OTC, the original Travel Chief, is going to be on SmackDown tonight, so we're going to hear from him. Hopefully, uh, we'll see Jimmy, maybe hear yeah. a little bit from Jimmy. Um, basically, going to recap what's going on with Bad Blood and stuff there. Uh, see what Roman's got in store going forward. Uh, what what he what his basically what is he going to be doing as far as like Cody and stuff. Because, you know, he said 
um, that he was going to be coming for Cody Rhodes after this was all said and done. So it's going to be interesting to see what they're going to end up getting into as far as like uh, the Cody Rhodes story and stuff. Now that Kevin Owens is, you know, involved with it and stuff, it's going to get interesting to see. And with The Rock returning, if he's going to, what he's going to, you know, end up doing. I don't think we'll see The Rock on SmackDown tonight, but who knows? Because that's something that they wouldn't put out there that he would be on there. It would just be something that he would surprise, you know, be there for. But in my opinion, I, I, wait, what? Okay. Go for it. Uh, I have a bit of news on The Rock and... So many people are saying that The Rock is going to do a trip with Roman and Cody Rhodes for the Undisputed Championship at WrestleMania 41. Um, but The Rock is doesn't have a contract that lasts up to WrestleMania 41. Yeah. So he, he likely I've seen that as won't... well. It's surfacing around like right now on Twitter and stuff. Yeah. So... The Rock most likely won't be able to do WrestleMania 41 if anyone wins. Yeah, WrestleMania 41 is trending on Twitter right now. If if anyone wins the championship of WrestleMania 41, it better be someone that deserves it. Agreed. It shouldn't go back to anyone who's been involved in the bloodline, in my opinion. No. I think the championship should move away from bloodline stuff in my opinion yeah i, I feel like cody Rhodes been... should be doing more than just the bloodline stuff because it just seems like it's repetitive still it's just the opposite you know like yeah. roman going for cody and it's like it, it there's nothing new there so like if we could get roman to you know because as with right now roman is got more eyes on him now than he did when he was a tribal chief. I'm telling you with that belt. Without the belt, people praise Roman more without the belt than they do with the belt. And that's a good thing because Roman doesn't True. need the championship belt. Whereas everyone keeps saying, oh, Roman needs to be champion again. and blah. Roman doesn't need to be champion. You want to know why? Because he already put that belt to another height that nobody has. You know what I mean? Roman doesn't need the belt to be tribal chief. He doesn't need the belt to be OTC. He doesn't need the belt for, you know, to establish himself anymore. That he, he's Roman Reigns. You know what I mean? He don't need a belt to to state that. You know, he's already that person. You know, without the belt. H Black, this might be difficult to search up, but I want you to search up how many views. Uh, SmackDown would get when Roman was champion compared to now when he's not. I know that when um, I, don't... I know that SmackDown's views are lower as champion or Cody Rhodes being a champion right now than what they were when Jinder Mahal was champion. I seen that there was like two million some people watching. There's only like maybe close to a million watching right now. SmackDown, but maybe I want a little to... over a million. I want to. But I want to know an average, not just like yeah, I not like the mean. lowest or the highest of the average. But yeah, uh, as search you guys what know, again? Uh, bad blood. Uh, I want. To... Okay, go ahead, Dylan. No, you're good. I was just gonna say, uh, okay. we'll talk about bad blood here in a little bit. But basically, uh, the Roman stuff is just gonna be kind of a recap of what what happened at bad blood and maybe get a little bit of an idea of what Roman's got in his head now that uh they beat the bloodline and stuff yeah. and now that he's got Jimmy back and the rock returning I don't know if he'll talk about the rock or if we'll get the rock tonight but I know that we'll we'll definitely probably hear from him and Jimmy so we'll we'll possibly get to see what's going on there I don't know if they're going to save this for the last part or if they're going to put this out here in the beginning cuz this could be one of those things that they could start off with you know because I feel yeah. like they might make the LA Night match the main event, but then again, they might not. Might not. Um. Well, before I before I get into my opinions on the Bloodline, uh, H Black, uh, I I guess just search up the average, um, live viewers for SmackDown when Roman Reigns was a champion. So, uh, also, what I was gonna say is. I figured we could go ahead and stop talking about the 
the topics because that's really all we had for SmackDown so far. Uh, everything else will just be kind of random what happens on on the show and we'll have to see that part. But uh, I wanted to talk about, um, before we start talking about some of the Bad Blood stuff, I want to talk about Raw. So last, or Monday, right. Raw, uh, Raw was two hours. But after Raw ended, mm-hmm. they started Raw for mo- for this Monday. So Raw is pre-recorded this Monday. There's already stats out there of the matches and how it all goes down. There's videos out there I've seen on YouTube that are, you know, from the Raw. So it's like I've been trying to steer away from seeing what goes on on Raw Monday so we can still kind of talk about what to expect, you know. But there was a couple videos that I've seen, and I guess that I'm going to go ahead and do a little spoiler. The only thing that I've seen was that um, I think Raquel... uh, Raquel and Liv and all them attacked mommy and stuff. So I think that's something that happens Monday that we don't know about yet or shouldn't know about yet. So basically people that went to Raw Monday got to see four hours of Raw. Because after Raw ended with the two hours, they started Raw for this Monday. And they recorded that there. So the people got to see that there. So... Raw is pre-recorded Monday, so whatever they've got planned has already been basically well known. But I'm trying to steer away from that so we can talk about the topics Monday and still kind of get a prediction of what's going to happen, you know. So I hate that one. I hate that Raw is still technically um three hours, just not on television. Right. Which is I like that's confusing. Why not just have why not just show the full three hour event that uh that I don't know that you're already showing to people. I agree. And I they might have cut it down to two hours. That way they could maybe possibly pre record some of these. And I know the reason why they pre recorded Monday is because I think they're doing tours in the UK all next week. So they're gonna be in a different country, you know, touring or stuff. Like off camera. Ooh, H black. H black, you can you're going to go watch the show. So if that happens again tonight, then that means that they're going to pre-record SmackDown for tonight as well. Hmm. I don't so know. So people might get to see two SmackDown shows tonight. I don't know how that's going to work, but it's going to be interesting. I just wanted to say that because Raw is pre-recorded Monday. So they already taped it. Okay. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I guess. All right. Um, H Black posted the view count. Okay. Um, two point one twenty eight million. Interesting. For when Roman was champion, back in twenty twenty two. So it's probably still getting about the same views then. <laughs> yeah, uh, this might be average. Now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, it might be like their average view. I know when Jinder Mahal was champion, he was getting like 2 million something. It was weird. Because they posted the stats yeah. like a couple weeks ago, or people were talking about the stats and stuff. So, But yeah, we can go ahead and start about talking about Bad Blood. Bad Blood was pretty crazy with Drew McIntyre's match and CM Punk. Drew McIntyre got My- it brutal, bro. Like, I thought that was... I thought they used fake... Uh, blood and stuff. Nope. Uh, that was, it was real, real deal. I, I, that was pretty crazy that they could pull that off. Honestly, in my opinion, it, I think the worst part would be where uh, Drew went to do the claymore and he missed and he hit the hit the steps on his back, dude. Oh, that had to hurt. Hey, search up all the search up Drew McIntyre staples and put a picture in so Dylan can put it in the. I don't know if I can show that on uh, YouTube because uh, uh, WWE uploaded a video of it um, and within an hour they they took it down from YouTube. So I don't think they want that, you know, to be shown. Search up Drew McIntyre staples. Yeah. 
But that was absolutely. I just want him match. to they look at. Made, yeah, they should have made the um, match, main event, like everybody was thinking. It, it should have just been main event match. Because honestly, yeah. that was pretty brutal. I hate. That. I hate that it wasn't main event. I hate that so much. It's like, more why? or less the fact that they did it. It's more the the reason why it's more dissatisfying that they didn't make it main event is because that the rock returned that's why they made that main event dude like come on now like i get it that match is good but it's like the only reason it was main event is to cut the show with the rock there's no other yeah. there's no other excuse there really isn't which yeah. don't get me wrong, I don't mind um, Rock. I just feel like his spotlight is just like too overshadowing right now, and it's like, chill out, bud, <laughs> chill out. You ain't got a main event some have a main event just to kill the show with you, bud. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate that because you know the Rock's backstage like. Hold on, let me fix this um, camera. You, you know the Rock's backstage going oh. If if this match is in main event, then I'm not doing it. Like, you know, he had to, you know. Yeah, there's, there, yeah, there was some shenanigans um, with that. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not yeah, hating on I the hate Rock. That. We're not hating on the Rock. We just, you know, he's trying to, the, the spotlight's a little too shining on him, is, if you get what I mean. And it's like, bud, come to SmackDown every week, and then, then you can get that spotlight shine back on you. You know? Because he's taking that shine from everybody's spotlight, you know? If he's just going to appear and... Yeah. If he's just going to appear and disappear like that, you know, it's like... At least do some matches or something, bud. You know, when Cena came in, at least he put in some work. I mean, they, they'd rest at what? WrestleMania. What other matches did he have? You know? He didn't smack, get on SmackDown and do a match or nothing like that, you know? Like, even like, had one match. like Cena a couple Christmases ago, he came down and um, he had that intro and he, I think it was Kevin Owens and Cena, wasn't it? When they fought in December 30th? I think that's, yeah, I, I think that's what we just looked up earlier. Yeah, you can send it in here. We just probably won't show it. Because most people already know what Drew, uh, sustained injury wise like they posted it on their youtube yeah and then it got then they took it down i don't know if that was just because they didn't want the gore there or they didn't censor right or something it's because, it it because of the f-bomb because he he's he said an f-bomb oh yeah that uh yeah that's a that's a picture that that's drew mcintyre <laughs> yeah that's real blood, H. Black. That is real blood. What about... There is fake blood. There is fake blood in this show, but that is real blood. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, What about Dominic's match? with Or, not Dominic's match, but Liv and Rhea's match. That was pretty crazy. With Dominic falling out of the cage and stuff. and That was a pretty yeah. cool match. Uh, Raquel returning, and then we got R-Truth. We all, R-Truth returned as well. So we got him, too. Uh, Monday, I'm pretty sure they take on um, Karrion Cross's group. But I'm not sure, because Miz uh, don't want really anything to do with R-Truth anymore. And he said he's not in the Judgment Miz? Day no more. He said they don't want me in the Judgment Day no more. <laughs> Dude, R-Truth is fighting the Miz on Monday. That's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah. Because they had that match. I'm behind. They had that match. Already. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I don't know why I'm stuck on a couple of days ago. <laughs> H Black, in case you're wondering, he got hit in the head with the cool box. Yeah. Like it's a sharp brutal. The cool box. Yeah, like I think it was the Not corner just part. once, but three times. three times on the head, H Black. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. It was brutal, bro. And then this Claymore onto the, onto the stairs. That was, that was crazy. Do you have Peacock H Black? Because it's literally the first match. You don't have to watch any other match. It's literally the first match. If, if you... not, you can get a free trial. I'm pretty sure. 
H Black just opens up Peacock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as far as all that goes, it's pretty I much hate... just going to be a wrap up for like Bad Blood and stuff tonight, and we're going to see what's going on with the rest of the stuff that hasn't unfolded yet from Bad Blood. I hope we hear from Cody and what's going on with KO and stuff. I I hate that the Hell in a Cell match was in main event. And this is a... I, I say this... I, I said this the past couple episodes. Mm -hmm. But tag team matches not go into the second half of pay-per-views. Right. Especially if they're normal tag team matches. I agree. I don't care who returns or, or like what legend appears in the match because it again it's still a normal tag team match at the end of the day and yeah. the returns like yeah they were cool but they weren't even that great they were expected too you know what i compared mean compared to the bloodiest night yeah they were the most expected returns of but the like, most brutal ever. and the most iconic was definitely drew and cm punk's match literally literally the highest rated match of the year was starter <laughs> i know bro it What's was crazy because they've been they've been feuding for a whole year too they've been maybe even a little bit longer i can't even remember dude but they've been in a feud for a while h black look up the ratings for the drew mcintyre versus cm punk hell in the cell match <laughs> or just say well you can probably get uh, ready drew to wrap this up CM. here shortly too if you want king i'll give you a little bit of time to chill out and then we can watch the smackdown or something here in a little bit uh yeah, in a minute. I just wanna, no, I just you're wanna good. let the ratings are. We don't have to kill it right now, I'm just saying here shortly. Um well I guess while we wait for H Black, what do you guys think of seeing my face? Should I do this more often? You might as well. Um, I mean there's I nothing really to really I... hold back, you know. I don't really know how I feel about it. Not it's not every day I show my face on any platform you'll get used I've to never it though, done and it's like really not that big of a deal i mean just don't show your your outer surroundings you know what i mean like don't be like oh i'm live in front of my house or something you know that would just not be a good idea yeah. but like you're chilling in your in your room or something or whatever that's 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 one thing that's why i try to keep my background like different i need to change it too but uh it'd be cool i'd actually like to get a green screen actually uh, so it'd look better on, on screen and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So what did H say? Uh, he's wondering what I'm supposed to search up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like half the time he can't understand me. Because he doesn't know what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> it's it, it's all right. It like literally the the match was the highest rated match of the year. I just don't remember what the ratings were. Oh yeah, it definitely <laughs> was one of the highest rating. Five stars. I would give it no. that. I mean, it was definitely, <laughs> and not only that, it had the nostalgia with it. I think it's like top 30 or top 25 on the most or like the best matches in WWE history. Yeah, it could be actually. I mean, I don't know. There's so much, dude. They, and it's hard to even say that because like with them doing it every week for like nonstop, you know, like they never stop the TV show. You know what I mean? It's always going on. It's never not yeah. on, you know? There's always something. And they've been doing that consistently. So it's like, it's hard to really say, like, what is the most, you know, brutal match? Or, I mean, it would probably definitely go in, like, a top five or top ten list for, like, of all time, I would imagine. I could see it being in a list like that. But as far as, like, Hell in a Cell matches, I think the top one would probably have to be the Mick Foley one and Undertaker because that was just crazy where, you know, he got thrown off the table. His I never teeth went through his mouth or lip or whatever up into his nose. It was crazy. And then he still climbed up to the top of the cell and then the cell broke through and 
Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my phone's about to die, so. <laughs> All right, my dude. Well, we can go ahead and uh, wrap this up. You want to go ahead and do the outro? Uh, yeah, I can do the outro. Let me just plug my phone in. Yeah, you're good. Give me a second. Oh, good, bud. I had to move seat to the charger. <laughs> no, you're good, my friend. All right. There we go. All right. Yeah, I'll do the outro. You guys can still hear me, right? Yep, we can still hear you. Okay. Um, Follow our socials. Dylan is on Instagram, TikTok. He has two YouTube channels. He has a Discord, a Twitter, and a Twitch. I am on uh, Twitter, Twitch, and I'm a retired YouTuber. H Black is on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube. He also has a Discord of his own. Yep. Um, if you want to join our, if you want to join the Discord, make sure you select WWE as your common interest. You will have access to WWE news. You can share photos and clips of WWE live shows. Yep. Um, you have access to recaps of WWE shows. And you can even come on to the podcast and talk about uh, them yourself. You can yep. also watch WWE right here in our server. Yep. And Dylan's server. I said our server by accident. Uh <laughs> no, you're good. It's all of our server, really. Uh what's the other thing? All oh, right, this isn't real wrestling. These are the these are actors who are getting paid to fake wrestle. Um, so don't attack them for what they say or what they do because they are only getting paid to do their job. Exactly. And we say that because there's been a lot of controversies. There's always something. Yeah. We always see it on Twitter, this, that. So we just try to say that. Um, not not in our sake, but just like WWE in general. It's just like they get a lot of backlash. And it's like they're just actors, guys. They're just regular humans, you know? Also, let me know what you think of my beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. I'm going to go back to bed. <laughs> All right, my dude. I'll see y'all for SmackDown. Yep. All right. You guys all have a good one. Appreciate you guys all tuning in to the stream. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.